Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do motion tracking in Filmora 9 manually. Okay, Filmora 9 doesn't have motion tracking feature. So, you need to do it yourself manually. So I'm going to, to do it uh, to move my fingers slowly because uh, when doing motion tracking manually, you need to go frame by frame. So if, if you move it too fast or too long for a long period of time, it takes a lot of time to, to finish the job. For example, I, um, I put my uh, finger here and then I, I want to have a text on it and I move it to the left and move it to the right, okay? And that is motion tracking, okay? So to do that, it's very easy in Filmora 9. But you need to do it frame by frame. So the good things about, uh, about this option is that you can control scale, position, and opacity of the, uh, of the subject you, uh, you use uh, in, your, in your video, okay? So let's do it. All right, so here is my uh, editing timelines in Filmora 9. As you can see that I have one background video track and also I have one title track and this is the image that I attach to my finger. So it is very easy uh, to do motion tracking in Filmora 9. First thing first, you have a video track on uh, at the bottom, at the bottom, so you know how to import uh, your footage into Filmora 9, right? And drag and drop it onto the timeline. And the second thing. Uh, we need to do here. I just explain it a little bit so that you know how to do it first Then I, I do it again uh, Here's I have a title track uh, as you can see here. Uh, it is split into many pieces, right? Uh, just to uh, to track to track the the motion of my finger. All right, so let's play it to, to see here Yeah, move it to the left Move it to the right, right. So to do this, it is very easy. I will, uh, I will just, I will show you in three step, three, three step or four step or something like that. Let's delete it. Uh, but firstly, I need to mark this position. Okay, press M on your keyboard to mark the position on the timeline. Here we have a marker. So I know uh, where's the, my finger starting to move. Okay, and then I will delete the text. Right, delete the title track and then straight out the timeline, right, all the way out. And then I go to title. If you want to add, uh, to, uh, add text to your motion, then uh, go to title and select included, included, then go to title again. And we have a default title here with no animation. Just drag and drop it onto the timeline, right, at this position, right. So we have the text here and we can replace the text to whatever we want. Uh, just double click on that and then change it to click here to change. Uh, I will say text in this case and I also change the fonts and select a preset. Okay, and then go to advanced because I want to reduce the, the border. The text border, I think it's too thick. Uh, I don't want to have it 8, I just want it uh, 2. Alright, so here is the text and also the size is too big. I go with, with 60 or something, okay? Then uh, go back to the timeline, click OK. Now I have a title track on uh, on top of my video track, right, like this. But it is not in the position, right? And let's go back to the marking marker. Now, I, I will need to select the title, uh, select the title box on the timeline or select the text at the review window, okay, and select it and then click and hold your mouse, your left mouse to move, move it to here. Okay, so normally when, uh, when do motion tracking, even, uh, even if you, you do it in, inside the software, or other other video editor, you know, we allow you to uh, do the motion tracking. You still have uh, to indicate one point as a tracking point. So in this case, we do it manually. So we just consider my my finger, top of my finger, is a tracking point. In this case, I will move the text um, according to the movement of my finger. Okay, 
as a tracking point. And now uh, we uh, we have the first position here, and then we can move frame by frame. But um, actually, you don't need to move just one frame at a time. Maybe you move two frame or three frame. It depends on the movement of your finger. If it move fast, fast, and then you uh, you just uh, need to you will need to move one frame at a time. But it's slow like this. Maybe three, three frame or four frame is okay. Okay, so now we use our arrow key on your keyboard to move frame by frame. Let's see, first frame, second frame, two frame. No, 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 no. And you see that? Because my finger is still there, so it doesn't move. And now it's starting to move. So we need to, to split at this position, right? Split, click this split button. Uh, Remember to select the title track so it's always split the title. Okay, then select it on the preview window. Okay, and move it to the next position. Right, that's easy. Right, and then uh, click away. So click any anywhere on the on the timeline. So it will not select the text anymore. And then you press the arrow key to move it. One, two, three, four. Okay, four frame. I think it's okay. Then select the title track again. Select by clicking on the timeline or select it by clicking here. So we move it to the next position, right? Then split. Remember, after you move the text, split the, the title track here. Okay, then select select anywhere on the timeline and use, use your arrow key to move frame by frame. Four frame, I think four frame is okay. And then select the text. And then move it to the next position. Okay, and split. Select the title track and split. That is just one, two, three step, right? Select the title track and then move it to the next position. Then split and then click away. So it's four step, click away and then move frame by frame. So this time it's two frame. And we need to select the text and move it to the next position. Then split the, the title track. Okay, and then click away. Oh, this time it's too, too fast, so uh, only one frame. Okay, so we need to select the title. Move it to the next position. And split and click away and okay move to the next uh, position then select the text move and click uh, and split so all you need to do is just repeat the, the process again and again so if you move to uh, as I, I mentioned earlier in the beginning of the tutorial it will take a lot of times uh, if you if you want to to have to have a, a long uh, clip or a, a long duration like maybe two minutes or three minutes or something like that you need to spend maybe two or three hours to to create the motion uh, motion tracking feature in uh, Filmora 9 so that's all you need to to do to create motion tracking in Filmora 9 so I will show you the result at the end of the tutorial if you have any question, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Yeah. Bye. And then I, I want to have a text on it and I move it to the left and move it to the right. Okay.